Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhang Yan Let's Play as we continue for episode 2 from turn 10 in the winter season of 201. So, last time we got ourselves started by retaking parts of the mountain. We really want Tai Yuan. So, what we have to do here is fight off Yuan Shao's remaining army. He had an army that retreated back. We took a bit of damage, but overall I think we're fine if we venture out and get rid of some of the loot, I think we can heal back pretty quickly. We can probably do that anywhere, actually. We want to get closer to Zhongshan so we don't lose it. This army is slightly concerning. We'll be completely out of loot, which means our officers will be angry at us, but thankfully these are our family, so I think it'll be okay. Xu Yu came back to us. I don't intend to keep him. He's not very useful at all, and he's lame from the fight that we just had with him. So I think what we will do is simply fire him. Maybe a banish. I believe our officers will be able to tank the banish and the 15 easily. So goodbye here. A little extra cash. Now we don't have many officers. That is a small problem, but hopefully it's a problem that we can fix as we proceed. The weapons are ready, let's give it to her. And item wise, I think we can give her a bit more expertise to balance out the losses from the dual axe. Um, she's probably gonna end up, interesting, black horse is her default horse because she's a sentinel, so I was expecting gray. But regardless, we have no economy, we need more land. Since he's not taking it, we're gonna convert it. Now with 4,000 in our pocket, Saving it is a possibility, but what we can do is adopt our son so we can have a real family. There we go. And that should also make everyone's income free. So he's a son. She has a titles that's why she has a hundred salary but her base income is now free so in the long run we're going to be saving a bit of money uh, as you can see our treasury went up by a hundred we don't have any generals to do any assignments nor should we be doing assignments out of these counties we're going to get Taiwan first before we get Yemen even though that's our original capital actually that's a hard debate maybe we do want to set the capital in Yemen again so Let's go north first. There's not much to do aside from setting that stance so that we get a decent amount of replenishment. As you can see, I think everyone's gonna, except for that unit, it's gonna come back to, okay, two units and come back to full health. So let's go. We could have looked at new spies, I guess. We don't need to become anyone's vassal. Now, we're probably gonna debate which side we're going to lean towards for this conflict between Yuan Shao and Cao Cao. Historically... Ouch. A bad omen is wiping out her entire... satisfaction. So loot level... Being low is crushing us now. This is a very bad problem. Because we don't have a really great way of dealing with this. I could give her a higher title. This will bankrupt us, but it would temporarily solve this problem until it goes away from the loot. Unfortunately, event have minus 50. That's extremely unfortunate. We don't have any turn code, so we didn't lose anything there. I can't change tax, but we'll be close to being bankrupt. This is not a great turn of events. Now we have him escaping back towards that. I don't know where he is. We can definitely reach our target. We have a lot of extra movement when we're out of loot completely. So we're going to fight this one. Lady Jin, she could make a good wife for our son. 
Gu Yong. So he should be down south. He works for Sun Quan. Will be the second prime minister for the kingdom of Wei. Technically, the first actually, because the formation of the kingdom of Wei in 229, there was a debate on who should be the prime minister. Zhang Zhao was a favorite of the court, but Sun Quan didn't like Zhang Zhao anymore、uh, in his old age, so Gu Yong was picked, the silent magistrate, and Yuan Xi himself. Now the army's pretty healthy. And they should have a decent garrison here, a、oh, very small. So it's doable. We didn't get replenishment last turn. That is very unfortunate. But I think with this fight, which we can win pretty easily, even with the delegate, we can at least even out the supply situation. He does not have any weapons. I believe the map. It's gonna be a siege map. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a problem. I actually kind of want to avoid fighting on this map because it's a lot of bottlenecks, and we're not very good at crushing into that. So we're gonna take the delegate for the easy win here, and try to fix our army's replenishment problem. So I think we actually—it's ready level one. I really want the loot though. We're gonna pick up that loot, and it should, well, by the end turn, it should fix that. We have to do a slightly better job of maintaining our loot situation. We also have a good bankroll to work with now. Zhongshan, Zhongshan, I don't know how long we can keep this property. Hopefully for a long time, but we're gonna have to go west first, which leaves all these locations exposed to Yuan Shao's army. I guess an easy out would be try to beat him down a bit more. We can get the peace deal, but remember we are in a mercenary contract right now for 11 turns. So if we want money from that, we can't peace out with him, and also look bad for us diplomatically to back out from that contract. So we're not gonna do that. I think we'll try to rebuild this. I said we kind of wanted to get an underling here, but that might not happen within four turns, and it's better to get this stronger, quicker. I need to save up eight thousand to get this colonized, which means we'll continue to fight them.、Uh, we already beat Yuan Xi's main army, so his land should be easy pickings, and we can take his land and then snatch up a couple more pieces of Yuan Shao's territory. But Hopefully, once we get the loot back up, we won't have a attrition problem next turn. That's the main thing. Let's continue here. He went down south to fight Cao Cao. That is good. These are not good deals in our favor yet. Li Shu to join the war against Hua Xin. Now Li Shu will be the first one to betray the Sun Clan once Sun Ce gets assassinated. We can trade in our fame and fortune for more money and a silver item, I believe.、The、armor. We're not going to use these armor. Maybe for diplomacy. Yuan Jin. This is a good administrator. He's rank four. We're not gonna introduce him into the faction right now, mainly because we have satisfaction issue right now. He has a grudge against Yuan Xi, so he's not a spy. He's also willing to spy. We'll definitely consider adding him just for the administrator role. We could also have our wife do it, so it's not it's not major. But we can also use him for assignments. So there's a lot of useful things. We're gonna keep pushing before this upgrades to a small city. There's no one home. We'll snatch up some easy fights. We're just gonna keep it. I think the money is gonna slowly flow in. Right. So we are a bandit faction. The buildings work slightly differently. We have a labor building chain. The only problem is this became our capital. Not a big 
deal because we can obviously move it. It would cost us a bit of money here, 5,000 at our current rank, which is not too much. We can definitely afford that. Uh, but essentially, labor building chain, private workshop chain, but no base income from industry. So keeping this is actually pretty important. Our main income building is going to be sort of our bandit building. Our unique building chain here is reserved for our capital. Now moving capital might be a bit tricky. I might regret this. This is not good. I might leave this for them to retake if he can muster up an army again. Mm, that might be too much. We might be asking too much of USC's faction to do that. Hmm. That's fine. I think it is what it is. We'll swing across and maybe try to end him. So Gongsun Du is right over here. UNC's capital is Yobei Ping. So he splits that with Gongsun Du as well. We want that port. If we can get that port, we can trade with the south. We could also come to Bohai if we don't want to go to war with Gongsun Du. So right now the goal is to just wipe out UNC's faction. I'm going to give her a heal. Now this is back to normal, so let's switch it back to the cheaper general of the right. Yeah, she's still not going to be happy. As you can see, unfortunate event takes a long time to work its way out of the system. But banishment should be fine. At least she's not going to leave us and our economy can go back. I guess we can let her just hang out here five turns. It's fine. We'll work through the delegates. I don't think we'll be faced with any major challenges. I'm going to convert that over. And that should be it. Uh, any spies available to us? Nope. Waiting for our reforms, for more movement. So I don't want to say yes just because we are honoring our mercenary treaty. And he's not doing well against Hulk Hulk. I mean, he wasted a whole stack on us. He's resummoned Gu Yong. Will be pulled into this fight, I believe. No. So we'll still take this with ease. More experience for us. And convert that. Guangyang and Yobei Ping, and then we'll sweep through Bohai. That will be our trade entrance. So that way we can reach the southern factions, and we don't really have to deal with Gongsun Du just yet. We might sign a food deal with him just to keep him out of our hair. We'll get faction wide upkeep discount for spear infantry for each lumber. And I think it goes up to 9%. So if we pick up more lumber yard, things can get really cheap for us. And this is super important because I think spear infantry applies to all green spear units, which might, I don't know how they deal with protector of heaven. That's a glaive user. So maybe not spear, but at least our faction unique black mountain units are spear infantry. So there is a discount there. 2000. We're not very rich, but I think this is a worthwhile upgrade. All right. So before he upgrades anything, we should be able to take all his land without any problems. No turncoats. Trade. Trade becomes a possibility. Now aggression pack with Zhang Xiu. Okay. Or Zhang Xiu. Let's do it. Let's get a little bit more money from him. Five point two. 
Shakes. We can give him armor. Armor that we do not need. I can give him both, and maybe he can pay me a bit more. I don't think we need to become his vassal at this point. Historically, I think Zhang Yan becomes Cao Cao's vassal in 204, once Cao Cao puts Ye under siege, and that's after Yuan Shao's death. So the situation in the north became pretty clear that Cao Cao was going to win everything. And that's when Zhang Yan kind of decided, you know, we're going to pledge ourselves. I think if we do this, we'll be at a decent level where it's not going to be super bad. That way we can get some replenishment here. We have to be careful not to drive it to zero. We're given the item. Shield wall formation. Like, which unit of us can actually use that? Chen Gui. I'm looking for Sentinel Bandits. We're not getting any. That's what makes our faction strong. She's a burned officer, but, but she's probably a spy. This is so tempting. Yeah, Chen Dong's faction got wiped, which is why Chen Gui is here. That settlement's not gonna save you. And we don't need to waste our time fighting them here. We'll save it for the bigger fights. Ooh, Yong. I think we're gonna spare him. He has a bright future down south. We'll try to free him from uh, UNC's faction. Gonna not go for the money. Okay, good source of food. We don't need this. Although, plus two starting rank. With what we have, we can drive it up to rank nine. It's not a big difference. That's the thing. Because if you look, here's a rank 8 unit. Here's a rank 9 unit. Notice the difference? The health is because he's not fully healed. But the main difference is 1 point of morale, 1 point of attack rate, and 1 point of evasion. That's what you get for every rank up. It's a very marginal increase here. Granted, attack rate increase is very good. So that marginal increase is worth it. Our son, post battle loot, we need some money and also plus 10 loot in enemy territory. Let's see, our wife, poison arrows, capture enemy generals, negate fear and terror. She's going to be a terrible underling. She's probably not going to be underling, most likely. Let's go the top route, we'll go more combat for her. She does not have the satisfaction because the loot is low. So we're going to have to shift her again to General in Chief just to keep it alive until the loot bounces back. Very delicate dance. Check out her skill tree. Not at. I mean, we can't recruit her. Yuan Jin is probably the go to once we do get an underling. We, well, we have one. Huh. I guess we could assign our wife. That would solve some, but actually it wouldn't solve the problem because most of the negatives from the unfortunate event, which is just super unfortunate, 24 points would go away. But like I said, her skill tree is not, not built that way. Not like he has high expertise either, 70% discounts. But he has the skills, so I think we'll grab him first. You can see rank 4 is a big problem, but not if we make him an underling. 
we want that 17%, 40% income, 15% industry for commerce and industry, two points of public water. It's decent. We have two counties. I think Guangyang makes more sense because eventually we'll have the iron mine and then we can get the industry boost. I'm going to demolish that. Now this is the same as the Han building chain, so we can keep that eventually. I think it's going to be pretty simple. We build it in. We build a private workshop because this actually has some industry from the county. Well, actually, the bandit version has 200 industry. Very low. We mainly want these for the upkeep discounts. And, and we should probably just focus on banditry. Like, honestly, his job is to reduce the cost of our constructions. So as, as much expertise as we can stuff on one guy, so we're going to take this. We're going to give her something else because satisfaction is a big issue for her. Take six points here. And just build things cheaply. Miju. So if we kill... Hmm, we now have a new neighbor. I think we should just actually fight him and take him out. He has no war. Potential trade partner once we get another trade. But it's easier just to take his land. It's pretty valuable. The trade port plus the iron mine. There's a there's another I believe it's another lumber, which will reduce spear. And this is cavalry upkeep. There's income on it. I think we get an end building first. It's very pricey. We could do tribute hall. We could do tribute hall spam. I think that's actually smart. We basically based our economy on post-battle loot. And it also makes the construction cheaper in the commandery. Yeah, this is a faction-wide faction stack, so it gets pretty crazy. I think we can just generate our income from post-battle loot. Anyhow, uh, any spies? Nope. No turncoats. Let's continue. We should be building back our prestige and uh, a coalition with Liu Biao. Pass. We have a new daughter, Zhang Ningqin. So we have now 30% additional movement. There's nothing super pressing at this point. 25% character salary, not a big deal. We don't have a lot of characters and the characters we have mostly are family. I think a little bit of satisfaction boost helps, construction cost discount helps, more underling position helps. So I think we're going to work towards the steward of the Endless Palace, the one in Chang'an. Now these would be cheaper to get and faster to get, but the benefit's not really useful. I don't need the range damage boost. I uh, This one's good. But there's no rush. Five morale when defending, 5%. Let's just get this. It, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while and work our way over here. She might run. Nope, we pulled off the offensive ambush. So let's 
fight a battle. It's decisive. It's only 6% capture rate, which is a bit unfortunate. It would be nice to capture her and make her our daughter-in-law. She's a faction heir. It's not going to get better than decisive victory. But ambush fights are fun. That's our calling card. But ambush fights are hectic because we have to give commands out quite fast at the beginning. Two strategists, barely any good units, night battle plus ambush, super punishing on morale. I actually don't know if their units would have enough morale at the start of the battle. I think they're going to start routing right away. So son, you go try to get yourself a new girlfriend. Mom and dad will focus on the other guy. You two will sandwich over here. So basically, these two will be one. We're going to try to order them by command order. And four of you over here, four of you over here. This is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're good. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can watch a show. The Black Mountain Bandit charge. Nowhere to run. We have you surrounded. That's right, find yourself a wife, son. Mom is taking out the other guy. I don't know what dad's doing. They routed. The units don't even have a target. Yeah, it's already over. You killed her? That's not how you get a girl. But yeah, that's going to be our style. Ambush fights, charging the units down. We caught her. She's not willing to come over, but we can release her and build some potential fondness from the release. Maybe once the faction's wipe, she'll come over and join us. It's it's a pipe dream, but we can dream. Um, don't think we need much replenishment. Sure, our wife is a little injured, but that's fine. Let's get income. Not a lot. I think what we want to do is trespass a little. We'll finish this up and then go after them. I'm not going to care about their... Oh, we picked up Determined, same as our son. Uh, we're not going to care about how they feel about us diplomatically because we're, we're set to destroy them soon. The Flying Swallow General. That's Zhang Yan's nickname. 20% chance of ambushing. Makes sense. The general who gave tranquility to the north, Ping Bei, Jiang Jun. Uh, this is also Zhang Yan's title. This is the title that Cao Cao gives him after he swears loyalty to Cao Cao in 204. But we care about these. And they're not going to be super relevant right now, nor do we have them. 20,000 gold in the treasury. That's uh, that's pretty far. Pretty far. More tribute halls. Now, technically, if we really want to go for income and we think there's no war, it should be a black market spam. So back here, since we are not expected to fight, we should probably switch to black market. Just so that we have more income across the board. Uh, we can also choose to spam for research rate. But I think 
There's no game changing reform that you know we need to get. So it's gonna be fine. Any turncoats? Nope. Any new diplomacy deals? I mean, Yuan Shao still wants to give us that peace deal, which is really good flexibility for us. If he turns around, oh, he lost his main army, that's why. And we're taking his vassal power away since Yuan is about to die. So the swing of power is really in our favor now. Non-aggression pack, no thanks. He can't touch us while we have the mercenary treaty. I mean, Yanshaw's still going to be decently strong. He will keep trying. But it looks like Cao Cao's winning. Are you... Uh, not a bandit. I guess we're not interested. Yep. Are we close to getting our prestige 15 points away? We need to level up some of these counties. Vinci ran his last army away. That's not going to make a difference. Now our contract will probably survive the six turns. We have enough points. So we probably don't have to take Bohai right away. We can turn our attention to Gong Sun Du. I don't care for this little bit of extra tax income, do I? Because if we build Tribute Hall as a guaranteed building everywhere, because 30% faction-wide post-battle loot is nothing to joke about, plus the diplomatic income, I mean, we're not playing Zhengjiang, so that's less relevant to us, but it's not bad. Uh, we're not building this. Yeah, we're not building this. We can only build this in the capital, so it's not going to be the standard building. We could go Forge at certain locations that have industry based income from the counties and then maybe we can get items from them bandit building that's our base banditry income i think we're going to build this everywhere we'll build it in everywhere so one two three building everywhere land development everywhere so four if there's no uh, I guess even if there's no industry income, we should still build this just for the end combo. But we can also do the marketplace. It'd be very similar. Like for once, marketplace might be a better value than the private workshop, even though you end up with 190. It's just the marketplace, we can end up getting 150 plus 50% 50 trade influence. Or if we can ever get silk, which is possible, we just go west. We'll control the north. So yeah, I think we probably just do Marketplace. Uh, I'm just trying to think, can we keep this building? It's only tier one, so I don't think it's worth keeping. Let's just dump it. Get that tribute hall going as quickly as possible. We have 4K, five points of prestige for leveling that up. We should build here first because everything's cheaper here for us. 2000. Or we, we don't do that because we're going to take that and we're going to convert that first or else it's six turns where we can't convert. Let's also give us food. I think die is safe. I said no one will take it. Income. I think we're at a point where we can rest for two turns and give our wife a stack. So with that argument in mind, we need to change where we're putting our money. I believe if we go general of the left, she will leave us, but we can swap back. So right now we just want the cheap recruitment real quick. 580. We're going to have to cancel another one. That should be enough. I think we do the same.
We can't go back to General Chief, but we can go things like General Commander. And she'll still hang on here. That unfortunate event, my god. We're not gonna wait till they fully heal. We'll keep fighting. We'll declare war on them soon. They probably come back in suicide. So please do. Still her. No spies. Ooh, 2,500. Mmm. Already paid for the army, so it's not it's not coming back. I guess I can cancel this. We we just need to fight. We'll have the money next turn. Hopefully he's still willing to spy for us. Nope. Uh, it's better than him sieging us. We just have to tap him next turn. Get some post-battle loot there. We want more money. Haha. <laughs> that. Ah, he should be in the south. We're getting second generation gen uh, officers. That's for sure. He dies over here, because he sails up to meet Gong Sun Du's uh, grandson and gets killed. Thanks to Sun Quan's bad decision. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, take this out. I don't care about the mustering. Let's see how much money we can get here. He has resiliency. Factions wiped. Get another 800 here. Gonna take... Gonna actually take loot. She has fondness. We got her. We got ourselves a daughter-in-law. Now she's rank four. We might run into the same problem as our wife where she's unhappy the moment we recruit her. But the fondness 50 point carries. Nice. This is great. It's 25 points in Nate's satisfaction. Well, that item could, uh, I just want discount. Population growth, maybe not a big deal. Most, imp what injury did you get? Maimed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but she is going to be our new Divorce. Yuan-Si's fate is, is just that. Divorce. And uh, marry our son, please. We don't have money, but once we do... Once we do, we will do that. Chun Yu Chun is still waiting for us? He is. We'll have enough money once we take this. It's gonna be a straight-up war. Nice and simple. No gimmicks. He probably has a decent army somewhere. I don't doubt that. Not very strong. This is a free take. Now because we want Tony Chong, we're probably gonna go this route. It should also fill us with a lot of loot. So if we come over here and we split that, we can get the replenishment that we want here for our units. That's a good way to balance that out. We can afford that and also pick up Choi Yuchong, who is a decent MTU character. Plus four. Still the same as before, it seems. 25. Gan Mei, Liu Bei's wife. Liu Shan's mother. Alright, we're gonna have to wait. Now we can't take apart courts because we only have one spy slot, so can't do much there. It's just interesting to see who's on the field. It seems like he has about two army plus one administrator, and they're both down south, so no one's bothering us. We can focus down Gongsun Du real quick. Things are going quite nicely. We even got ourselves a daughter-in-law. It seems to be Lady Jen's fate. Whoever captures her 
decides to make her into a daughter-in-law. Oh. She was pregnant. We now have Yuan Xi's son. Yuan Shao, we have your grandson. Let's talk. All right, it's really straining our economy. One more turns. I think this will hold. There's enough left that we're not going to go back on our words there. Uh, I expect them to actually... Oh, he's been promoted to government? What position? Grant Excellency. Excellent. Administrator would have been better. It will take some free land. All right, his army's here. It's not impressive. Who does he have? Yang Yi? Liang Mao. Ah. Oh. Liang Mao should be in his faction. Uh, Liang Mao was an uh, administrator in Taishan, I want to say. He did a good job. The Han court. So he, he was an administrator here. Uh, down, down, down. In this area here. And he did a good job. So the Han court sent him to become the administrator of, I want to say, Lulong. Which is right here. Yeah, Han territory goes goes pretty deep into modern day Korea. Um, so he's supposed to go here. He traveled through Daotong, which is Gong Sun Du's territory, and Gong Sun Du just basically captured him and says you're working for us now. So then he had to stay. Gong Sun Kang eventually will let him go, and he does go back to the Wei courts. I think he actually became like he became Tulpi's tutor for a bit. Not very long. He dies pretty soon of old age after that. Unyielding politician. Pretty decent background name title for him. Am I worried that he'll counterattack us here afterwards? I'm worried he'll take this. Slightly worried he'll take that. But we haven't built anything here, so not like we're losing anything. Let's just keep pushing. Land is more valuable when you're trying to wipe out a faction. Yeah, we just want to convert these as quickly as possible. We don't even have 300. We are really poor. <laughs> Dirt poor. We picked up Reckless. Okay, uh, that's fine. 10% speed for him on the field. A little bit extra resolve. Loss of cunning. Doesn't really matter. Minus one mustering turn. Doesn't really matter. You know what? Let's not convert this one. Let's convert this one. We might get sieged. It's a possibility. Be a little aggressive. We'll be outside posturing. We don't need that 2% extra replenishment. If we wipe out his army here, it's going to be pretty over. We just have to walk pretty far. Grinchal is distracted. We should get away with this. Alright, what can we do? What can we do? Yen now feels... Oh, Yen now just got fired. Ah, uh, we can't whisper some stuff to his ear and be like, you know, Yuan Shao's not treating you well. Look at you, rank 6. How dare he fire you? Oh, Yuan Shao got knocked out. He's not leading an army anymore. I wish I had more spy positions. I'm pretty sure I can mess up his court. Mm. We could just extract him, I, I think. Pick up a general. What rank is he? He's rank 3. So I think he'll be decently happy once he joins us. He's not going to be super mad. We'll get his gear. I don't know how many items they stole from him already. But he should have a decent amount. Maybe we can pick up Yanao after we empty his slot. Because Yanao is so unhappy. Yep. If we can find 1,400. Unsway 1.1. Let's see if we can sell some items to our best friend, Tal Tal. Want cash. You know, these two are This one's actually pretty good. One point. I can sell food. I have a lot of food. Tal Tal has a lot of food, too. Oh. 
Oh, Salzo's rich. That's a great sign. Salzo's paying for us to pick up Yen out. Thank you. The problem is we can't afford that per term payment. <laughs> We're going to grab it first. Not going to worry about it. The mistrust is still on. It's applied for the whole faction, even though we recall the guy who already did it. Um... I, I don't care much about messing up the faction anymore. Oh, no one's willing to do it either. Yeah, we only have one... We only have, we can do Empower Trade, I guess. Because he's going to drain our coffers. Uh, if we don't convert the counties, we can't get the prestige points and we can't rank up. So we need to do that. All right, we should be okay. After these three converts, or these two convert happen, and then we pick up this and we convert that, we should rank up. And hopefully we have some cash after that point. Oh, we are going to negative. Um, Tzu can we talk? Um, here, um, the stone, the rooster is more valuable than the pig. So we're just going to swap this out. And sell the stone pig to Tzu Tzu because we're really poor. Just really, really poor. He's probably gonna give us maybe even 2,000 for this. Close. 17, 1770. 66. Come on. You don't know what that extra bit means to us. Oh no. It's not much. It's only a turn of income for us. The difference. Our, our turn of income is 52. It, it, it's nice to get some money. Um, should we spend it? Yes, because black market is actually 10 points prestige. So not only does it build income, it also could rank us up, which is huge. And we do want to rank up. All right, all right, that's good. I think we're I think we're in a good place. If we can wipe out his army, we'll be in a better place. Not yet. A couple more turns. I want your cash, but just wait. See, so went for Yobei Ping. We ranked up. We got paid. If we can get to. The next rank will get paid more. 51. So I think this is the time we get our wife into Incense Master. Uh, essentially the recruitment cost discount. It's not important. The important part is we can get rid of her title. So it's a 350 plus to the income, which is huge. But if we can strip her of her title, that's even a bigger deal because the title is worth 400. So in the in the net, we can also decrease the upkeep of our army. All things considered, a very positive development. What position? Grand Excellency. Maybe Yuan Shao should stop promoting his general to Grand Excellency and then they immediately ditch him. Yuan Shao's not back to us yet. He's on his way back. Wait. Yeah, he's on his way back. So not, not to us yet. So we've got to wait. We don't have a second spy position until the next tier, 150. We can get there pretty quick. No worry about this. He can take the settlement. That's not a problem. We'll just take it back. There's no special building there that we're losing. There's no walls. These are more valuable to us anyways. 
we would like to assign additional underling position. Maybe Lady Jen is a pretty good choice too, actually. Gu Yong wants to work for- oh, we released him, that's why. Go to Sun Quan. I, I, I don't think I want him. You should go to Sun Quan as well, join your father. He was in- he was with the looters. He <laughs> was with the looters, okay. Yeah, they take this, we take it back. That's- that's the game plan, I think. And we can take a step out, we can reduce some loot to make sure we have full movement, to also make sure that we are fully healed. We can put Lady Jin as the underling. Um, I'm gonna put her here first. Actually, she's not a good underling, that's the problem. We'll wait. We'll keep that position open. Might have a better fit in the future. I know we don't have much cash. We really should invest in our buildings. Like this one's quite important. And this one as well. But now we don't have enough for the marriage. We got another stone pig. Are you interested in another stone pig? Now you're funding for my son's wedding. To your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Lady Jen's supposed to be a tall piece of wife. Uh, Tulsa doesn't have to know who the bride is. We call this fen tian, the money you give to a wedding. You're gonna get one angry letter from your son's help he, that we just paid for the wedding with his future wife. All these marriages, she she came with a kid, but she's beautiful. It's it's a good match. She comes from a good clan. Nothing that you know we can compare. We're we're bandits, so. In the long run, she will, um, it'll be cheaper because she has no salary situation as well. She also has fondness to the factions. All good. All good stuff. Yeah, things looking good. Wilson Du, what do you have? Our contract is over. We can now respect the peace. No, we are not. Oh. This is because Cao Cao ended the war with Yuan Shao. We're not going to do this because then we can sign our own peace deal for more money. Oh, trade. We have a port. Uh, no. Uh, it's tempting because uh, the southern trade route plus Sun Tzu as a friend rather than an enemy is... Definitely encouraging. Okay, six food. I don't want to part with that item. So for once, we might actually pay him. It will get refunded essentially in a turn just from this trade. So I don't think it's that bad. 670 maybe? Really don't want to go 700. Ugh, fine, it's not a big difference. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Eventually, I'm hoping he gets tea, and then we get tea. So now he's taking bad routes. White horse, red mane. We just don't get along with our wife now, do we? You know, we did consider divorcing her. I can understand. Oh, zero points. Hmm. We need to beat him down a little.
I was hoping to blackmail him for a bit, but it looks like it's not possible. We share mutual enemies. Do we? We do not. I'm gonna take the deal just because I need time to take all of the Northeast first with Gong Sun Du. We can always harass him later. Because Gong Sun Du is so isolated, he is not in any war with anybody. Cao Cao is fighting Sun Ce, Gong, Gong Du. I think that's Li Shu. Yep. We're gonna stay out of politics for now. He's trading with Yuan Shao. How? He has no more ports. That trade route should be suspended. Uh, it it's probably suspended. So he's trading, but suspended. Oh, We're just going to go take care of his army real quick. We can't reach. Hmm. A little tricky. Because it feels like he can... I'm going to go build Tribute Hall first. He can take one of our land. I'm going to have to retake it. Which means we have to convert, I think. If he get rid of our stuff. Our border is messed up, but that's Yuan Xi's fault. Let's continue for now. I don't believe Chun Yu Chun came back to us. Right? Where where is the man? Leave. I I don't think he came back to us, so it's weird. We definitely extracted him, and he did not come back. We're going to force him to leave and see if we can pick him up from the recruitment pool. That's the only option, I guess. Point two, it's not significant enough to do anything with that. Anyways, let's continue. Where are you going? Liu Bao dies. Liu Bei gets the confederation. Ah, Su Fei, Gan Ning's friend. Lady Tai, Liu Bao's wife, Kuo Ju, Liu Bao's, Liu Bao's two advisors. Miao Wan Wan, fictional character. Han Sui's faction. Not interested. Uh, it, I think she's Han Sui's wife? Maybe? Just judging by the age, I have no idea. Not historical wife, just wife in the game. Right, so he didn't want to be part of Liu Bei's faction, which is why they left in mass. Su Fei was Gan Ning's friend. He's the one who helped Gan Ning switch over to... Oh, he's technically Huang Zhu's general. She does have a good horse. A Sudan war horse. I'm just looking for items. Ooh, robe of fun. Movement. Okay, so that's a recruit for sure. I'm surprised Lady Tai doesn't have any items despite being the wife. Cool headed strategist. Yes, quite clan is quite powerful in the Jin province. I'm gonna snatch him up. Plus. What's the set? Broken Jade Ladle. Unbreakable for own Renu? Pretty sick. I'm gonna have to hunt for the item though. No one can wear the robe right now for the faction. We're gonna be removing it. I 
don't think we're keeping him. We're really just looking for the item. Paid a thousand for the robe. And then we're gonna kick him. He's rank four. He will pay for himself on the way out. Please let us reach you. We have way more movement than you. Not really a big fight. We're probably not going to entertain fighting Gongsun Du at all. Just want to wipe his faction quickly and, and get back to the real fight against Yuan Shao. Ooh! He had good stuff. I need loot. Our loot is really low. He dropped his weapon. Which is a... A ji. Highest snowflake. Frost flower. Good expertise. Can we... He can't equip it. It's, it's a champion weapon. Champion and vanguard then. Can't be just champion. Yeah, now come back to us. You have a lot of good items. Let's let's call him back. Did we chase Trinity Tone out? Trinity Tone left. He didn't join us, but we, we chased him out. You can come back now. Alright, we'll let him return. So he's behind us now. We still need to wipe him. Yeah. Is it better than what we... No. This weapon's way better. It's not even close to attack damage. Alright, first we gotta make sure we have a caddy on each, or sub sub building here on each. And then... I guess upgrading them is pretty similar. It's very minimum increase in banditry income. There's no prestige on that one. There's prestige on this one. And the income is a, is a 50 point boost. It's not a huge boost. There's no prestige. Recruitment cost discount, faction wide. I think this one's probably worth it. Tool shack or tool maker. There's discount because we have administrator there or underling. Yeah, we should be okay. Bad omen for a few more turns. Got our item. Become a vassal. Nope. You kill Yuan Shao and we'll think about it. Or if we become a powerhouse, we'll replace Yuan Shao and then fight you. The calculation is, can this army take any land? Because if he cannot take any land, Bongzu got vassalized. Oh, oh, fun, Chansi. Okay, uh, if he cannot take any land with his army, which I don't think he can, our best course of action is actually just to move on, take all his land quickly, while his army is stuck there and weak. Oh, we're not even showing on the map. That's a small... Bug there. Um, I'm gonna just occupy. We get to keep an industry income in a place with banditry. It, tool, yeah, toolmakers is only banditry here. Yeah, if we just take the remaining two pieces of land, Xuan Tu and Xiangping, he will suicide into one of the counties and be all over. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, now it's back. There's no translation on this item, unfortunately. But it will help us with ambushing. Which is huge. So, we'll definitely use that. We'll let him keep his weapon, which has an added set bonus here. It's gonna be hard to keep him happy. We're gonna have to rank up. Which we should pretty quickly, just by adding more counties. So we'll keep doing that, leave him here, take his land, and then we're going to go back to picking off Yuan territory. 
and replacing him as the power in the north. And once we have mostly Renshaw's territory, we'll take the mountain routes. And once we have an entire border share with Tulls Halt, that's when we start fighting Tulls Halt for the control of the north. And then we'll go from there. Is that Dongbai? Wait, Dongbai and Del Chan are both in Cao Cao's faction? Ah, there's Du Ji. Du Ji should be in Hedong. He's the administrator there. We can take the coaster route, wipe out Yuantan as well. So basically, control the Qing province. Yu province is ours. Ji province will be ours. And then we'll move to the Bin province. And then we can go down and fight Cao Cao. Should be fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you all next time. Bye.